Yay! Our first star! Ooh. Your first star! So that works out perfectly that we got on your target right at the beginning of our hour. An Oahu high school student recently used a telescope on Mauna Kea to observe a distant planet with two suns. On November 19th, Waipahu senior Laura Daklison studied Kepler-35 using the W.M. Keck Observatory, part of the Mauna Kea Scholars Program. So Laura is one of our Mauna Kea Scholars students and she used the Keck Observatory to observe a what we call a circumbinary system. So this is two stars that orbit each other and there's a planet orbiting both stars. It's it's basically Tatooine from Star Wars. Astronomers compare Kepler-35 to the fictional home planet of Star Wars hero Luke Skywalker, which also famously had two suns. Kepler-35 is one of the few circumbinary systems we know of, and so it, it's a really unique opportunity to study it and figure out how the planet stays in orbit around two stars. I chose Kepler-35 because I thought the two stars was really kind of similar to the sun, and I thought if Earth had two suns, just like Kepler-35, the system, maybe there would be some easier correlation between them. I never watched Star Wars before, but I know that there's this picture of Luke Skywalker walking towards the two suns, kind of like in a sunset, and it's really pretty with all the colors. And when I read about the two stars around one planet, I, got, I thought of that picture. And I, was, I wanted to see if Earth had two suns and if that would correlate with kind of like the Tatooine of that movie. Uh, this is definitely science that um, you would expect to come from a professional astronomer. And in fact, once Laura had contacted us and showed me her proposal, I got her in touch with some professional astronomers who were doing very similar work. Um, on slightly different types of stars, in fact. And so they were able to come in and help her plan the observations because they come in with the knowledge of how the instrument and the telescope works. And she actually got them to look at a slightly different type of object than they might have otherwise. So it's definitely a class of science that you know, we would normally be doing on Keck. What I'm going to do with the data I took this night is I'm going to use it for my science fair project and I'm trying to find out why circumbinary planets are still in orbit and find more recent data about it. Because the data I've seen before is kind of old, like 2012. So I'm hoping there would be something new too. 